I'll stay, uh, you too. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Normally I come up on here and I say, uh, we got a beautiful day in Las Vegas, Nevada. The weather about 52 degrees outside. Not a cloud in the sky. Reporting live from Sin City. If it's your first time rocking with the boy, happy to K-I-N-G, S-P-R, double three. That be me, King Spree. You locked in one of the realists. And as always, watch out for that mixtape coming soon. I promise you're going to love it. Doing this work thing. Doing this work thing. So I woke up this morning, did my daily routine. Didn't do the gym because I have a, a daughter's appointment. So I had to go to, uh, I got to go to work a little bit earlier. And yeah, I could have woke up earlier, but I trust me, bro. I tried. I tried. I was tired though. Um, but we definitely back on the gym life. Don't get that twisted. So let's get into uh, a little metaverse talk. A little metaverse. Metaverse. Facebook. Metaverse. Meta. Let's talk about meta. Before we do that, please do me a favor. Like the video. Please like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the boy channel if you're rocking with me. And make sure the notification bell is on. That's that little bell on the side. Make sure that bell's all dark. Click up, make sure it's all dark. And uh, leave a comment if you want to leave a comment and share the video if you think somebody else give a fuck. So, um, meta, meta, meta. So as most people know, Facebook has changed their name to meta. And they are launching slash are part of. I'm not, I'm not quite sure if it's Facebook's doing or did Facebook change their name and it's coincidental, but more than likely it's Facebook's doing. They are launching what's called the metaverse. Essentially, oh God, dog, my tires are, are low. Essentially a virtual reality, a virtual reality um, online. Now, if you play like NBA 2K or anything like that, you're probably very aware of that kind of lifestyle where you're paying for clothing, you're paying for jewelry, you're paying for all these things to make your avatar as close to you as possible or what you want to be and that avatar goes through a story mode and so on and so on so I'm guessing it's going to be very similar to that but just real life. Now if you've been paying attention, a lot of the big corporations, Adidas, Nike various others have been buying um, space within the metaverse um a piece of land sold for, I think, $2.4 million the other day. Um, there was a a couple pieces of land that were bought as well. And I don't I don't know how to do that at all. I'm nowhere near that game. But, you know, I'm trying to learn. I'm listening and I'm learning. And another thing that is uh, interesting is that when we think of the metaverse or we think about, like, technology on that level, we assume it's the future, right? Like, at a time, these iPhones that we have were seen as the future. The problem with the future is somebody had to think about it in the present for it to become an idea and then eventually an actual uh, thing that you can go buy. Here's my point. We speak about on my channel a lot about, essentially my channel is talking about current events and then ways to uh, improve my current situation and, and hopefully it relates to y'all. And... In speaking about current events, and we speak about trying to make more money, trying to get to the next level, one thing that we don't understand because we're not taught this at a young age is you can't keep trading time for money. You can't. You can, but it's going to mess you up in the long run. You can't keep trading time for money. You work 40 hours, you get 1500 two grand, three grand, five grand, 10 grand, whatever it is, there's a cap on what you can make. You know 40 hours is your cap. If you go over that, you're working harder for your money, right? So as a result, how do you make money without having to go to work? Now, most people think that when we say that, we're speaking about you got to own a business. Well, a business is work. Some people think like, oh, real estate. Real est owning real estate, believe it or not, is work. Um, some people think about, oh, well, 
I can um I can do some online stuff, whatever that means. And yeah, that's true. There are opportunities out there online. But one of the ways that uh people been doing for decades is investing in the stock market, investing in stocks, taking ownership in a company. Now, before I continue, please let it be known that I am not a financial advisor because I ain't got the financials to advise you. You dig? I'm literally speaking for educational slash entertainment purposes only. And most of the information I have, I didn't make up. Most of the information I have is my opinion about something somebody else has already said, and I'm just regurgitating the information. Please do not take me to be a scholar, but I am trying to learn. So, and maybe the way I break it down could be a little more understanding for others. So, we think about stocks, right? And we've been told forever, put your money in the bank, put your money in the bank. Let the, Yo, put your money in the bank. Take that money out of your mattress, put that money in the bank. But the reality is that putting your money in the bank is going to cause you to lose money year by year. Putting your money in the bank is going to allow the bank to make money off of your money that's in the bank. Meanwhile, they're going to give you literally, I have an online savings account, which, which gives me more money than a regular bank account, a brick and mortar. I have, I have X amount of dollars in there right now. For the month, they gave me four pennies, right? Four cents. Let it be known, that's a lot in that world. <laughs> now granted, I don't have a lot in there and it goes on percentages, but my point I'm making is that if you're going to a brick and mortar, you're going to Wells or these other, other banks, they're giving you even less than that. At the end of a fiscal year, you're getting a quarter off of your money. The best decision is to try to throw that money into the stock market and diff in various endeavors to try to expand your portfolio. So back to the metaverse. Um, so I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about the metaverse and I'm thinking about like, all right, how, people are buying land. I get it. I'm not there. I can't afford to buy land. I can't afford to be in that world right now. But what can I afford to do? I do my little research. I'm figuring little things out. I'm reading up. I'm reading uh, everything from Forbes magazine to, New, to uh, New York Stock Exchange to CNBC to whatever, whatever. And there's a couple ones that I came up on that I'm like, all right, these are these are sound investments for right now. I'm doing some research. So we got one where the, where the ticket, um, the ticket reader or the ticket name is IMMR. That's a, that stands for immersion. It essentially is a, a company that deals a lot with haptic. Haptic means like touch. So everything from like PlayStation Five to certain um, certain um, augmented realities, virtual realities, they use gloves and or they use various controls to simulate touch. And as we go into the metaverse, we're gonna need or they're gonna need something to simulate touch. Well, Immersion happens to be one of the bigger companies that provide that service. So that's one. Um, and the, the share price right now is extremely low. Extremely low. We're talking about $3 or some change per share. Then we have Matterport. Uh, the ticket, the ticket uh, reader is MTTR. Matterport Port is the biggest company for the production of, you ever have like, it's not the same technology, but it's what I compare it to. You know, you go to Amazon and Amazon can kind of show you how, how the cabinet that you want to buy or the bed frame you want to buy or the TV you want to buy, it can show you how it's going to look in your room, right? Well, imagine something, which they already do, they've been doing it for years, but imagine something where you can scan your home scan your room, scan your physical location, then take that location and put it online. Well, that's exactly what Matterport does. They're the, lead, they're the leaders in the industry in doing that. So as they're buying space, they need to fill that space up with something, right? And a lot of times they're probably going to use companies such as Matterport in order to be able to scan the building and then take that information and just duplicate it in the metaverse. And right now they're pretty low too. They're going up though. They were $25 per share uh, last week. Now they're at 33. Now, before you make make your decision, before you look up research metaverse and throw your money into uh, different, oh, and then of course, investing in Facebook itself or meta, before you do that, realize that putting your money in the stock market is a gamble. You could lose it all, you could gain it all. 
if you do your research, if you do your research, you could make decent money. If not, you could be a millionaire outright, to be honest, but uh, you can make decent money. Same thing with cryptocurrency, same thing with any form of investment. The word invest, it means to essentially take the time to put energy into something that can pay off in the future, you're investing. So proceed cautiously and don't just do something because somebody says it. A lot of people, when they wanna go invest and they trust their investment brokers, and but unfortunately they literally are just riding whatever the investment broker is saying. And not even, think of Wolf of Wall Street, it's a lot like that. And, well not a lot like that, it is that. And a lot of times they don't have the, the, the education or the research behind um, the companies they, they put their, their, their livelihood in to know what the hell this is gonna do. Same thing with a 401k. We get a 401k at our job, a lot of times we don't even know the companies they're investing in. And a lot of times they're not investing in just an in, in overall stock market. They're not on the Russell 2000. They're not on the Dow Jones. They're not on the uh, S&P 500, which is my, my favorite right now. They're not doing that. They're taking these companies that have the that essentially is the best interest in themselves and they're investing your money in that. And then at the end of your tenure working with them, if you even kept track of it, you might have $100,000, $200,000. But then that money gets hit with a tax because your 401k was money that was put into your account prior to you paying taxes on it. So as a result, you now owe whatever the tax is on that, on that, on that, on that money. And that goes based on whatever tax bracket you're in at that age. As opposed to a 401k where the money you're putting into your 401k account is money that you've already paid taxes on. It's money that you've already had to do your due diligence, so to speak, on it. So you don't need to worry about taxes. And I'm kind of going off on a little bit everywhere. But long story short is we're going to look for investment opportunities, right? We're going to look for... And this sounds silly because when you first start talking about it, I'm not the first guy to think about Invested. I'm not even the first guy in my social circle to talk about this. I got a, I got friends that do real estate and been doing it while I was sitting there twiddling my goddamn thumbs. I got other friends that invested in Dogecoin and made decent money. Other friends that put me on, giving me um, giving me information, sending me books, sending me things, sending me videos. I got one homeboy in particular that does that. I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he wants to be be uh his name out there. But point being is that I got people in my circle that have been doing this. So I'm not the trust me. I ain't I ain't the guy that's the smartest in the room. But I'm aware that I'm not the smartest in the room. And I'm going to go to the people that are making money. I'm the I'm the least successful of all my friends. And that's a fact. That's a fact. And I'm not embarrassed to say it. We try. I'm trying. So information is everything. Information is everything. Information is everything. Once again, I'm not a financial advisor. Because I ain't got the financials to advise you. Go ahead and do your own due diligence. Or just tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and keep it moving. Either way... Do what you gotta do. So once again, please like the video. Sorry, I'm dri I'm driving and people in Vegas they uh they be acting like it's Mad Max out here. Um, please like the video, man. It means so much. And thank you for the ones that have been doing that. Please subscribe to the boy channel if you are new to the family, new to the kingship. And um, man, listen, this was a message brought to you by the good fellas over here at King Spring. And I really hope you appreciate what I'm doing because I definitely appreciate what you're doing. All right, I'm going to holler at you.